hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel you're welcome if you're an old subscriber welcome back and thank you so much for returning to watch this video so today's video is on how to make this multi bow hashoke headband and i hope you enjoy it if you are yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to select the option to receive all notifications so you get notified whenever i post any tutorial on this channel so these are the materials i'll be using for this project as you can see on the screen if you have been following me on this channel you should be familiar with all these materials i'm going to put the list of materials in the description box okay so let's get started the first thing i did was to wrap my plastic headband with the ashoke fabric there are several ways to do this i have video showing how to do this on my channel already so i would like you to please watch if you have not seen that yet i'll put the link in the description box now i have my ashoke and for this ashoke i have with me i have the width as 6.5 inches and i am using about three layers i got about four layers yes i got about four layers and then i didn't finish it okay so from the four layers is where i cut out the small piece i used in wrapping my headband so from what is left is what i'm working on right now now i'm going to measure about eight inches from the starting point so and i fold it in remember to cut the edges of your ashoke with the soldering iron that's the soldering iron you can see right there that will prevent the fraying of your ashoke now on the eight inches mark I, okay before i do that i'm going to place my crinoline on top of it this crinoline is one of with six inches as well about six inches yes so i'm going to place it on top of the astro key and on the eight i'll fold it in remember i measured eight inches earlier so i'll just fold it in like this to the eight inch mark okay having done that i folded it from my left hand side i just folded the ashoke with the crinoline together with it to the center of this uh rectangle it, you know we have a rectangle kind of so now i'm going to continue to fold from under i'll just continue to fold like this together with the crinoline so the second fold you will notice that it's protruded a little bit towards my right it's a little bit longer than the first one okay it's actually on purpose so i folded it like that and I'm going to continue to fold from my left hand side i'll fold it towards the center like that okay on my left hand side they are actually aligning i didn't make it longer that i mean on that part but on my right hand side i made like two or three layers longer than each other i'll continue with the same process till i'm satisfied with the number of folds yes and i'll proceed to cut off the excess ashoke and excess crinoline with my scissors or soldering iron After cutting off the excess, so I just folded what is left towards the center together. That's the ashoke together with the crinoline. I held it down with my needle earlier just for me to be able to do that. So I just took off the needle and I folded it in towards the center and then um, I held it down with my pin before I proceeded. Now the next step was to fold or um do pleat at the center of this my folded piece okay that's at the center i just do like two or three pleats okay to form a bow okay and i'm going to be using my thread doubled multiple times to tie it at the center like that
I've tied it at the center as you can see and I'm not going to cut off the excess thread. I didn't cut off the excess thread. Okay, I just went ahead to arrange properly and I'm going to be styling this now to form our design. From behind, I'm just trying to pull one of the, I mean the half bow ashraki at the back towards the center okay with the crinoline inside i uh, just drag it like that to the center can you see so i'll go ahead and do the same for the one in front like that just trying to style this thing okay Okay, remember I didn't cut off the excess thread earlier so I'll just use the thread to continue to tie like that after I have pushed those two half bow layers to the center so I'll just tie it firmly and I'll cut off the excess thread now I'm going to cut up a small piece of fabric from my astro key this measures about four inches Okay, and I'll just cut it off. So watch the way I'm going to be folding this in. Now I'll be using this to cover the center of our design okay i just bring the two ends together and i'll be using my needle and thread to secure it Now I'm just trying to style this properly. I'll be closing up this space by joining the two ends of the half bows at this point together. Okay, just to close that space and make it really look nice. Okay, after which I'm going to be embellishing with my feather. This feather is called the fan feather. Okay, I'll be using my glue gun to fix it to my bow multi bow design. Then I'll proceed to attach it to my Harley's band and embellish it. I'll just leave you to enjoy the music at this point and watch the whole procedure till I finish um, embellishing this. Have you been watching my videos or you've watched this video up to this point and you're yet to subscribe? Why not subscribe and join the family to learn beautiful designs? right here on this channel you can as well join us on facebook at dolly b crafties or dolly b crafties online or where you can share ideas and relate with other creative minds if you have any other design you'd like me to illustrate you can as well post it on our facebook group we have paid classes as well where i show different ways or third things of creating beautiful headwears which you always use to create any other beautiful design you come across or you want to create yourself so you can join our paid classes or telegram by 
visiting the community page of this channel or you can just send me a dm on whatsapp i'll put my whatsapp number on the screen and this is to a notice to everyone who has been trying to reach me on my old line it is no longer accessible if you want to participate in any of our classes or you want to make inquiries about our products and um you've been trying to reach me on my old line i'm so sorry i'm no, can no longer access that line so my new whatsapp line is on the screen right now and it's actually for you to request for any of our products or if you are interested in any of our paid classes i've attached the design to my plastic headband a wrapped plastic headband with my hot glue and as you can see me you see me pressing it down for it to glue properly you can as well do some hand stitching so that it doesn't disengage from the band okay so i'll just do the finishing as you can see i'm just doing some green and all that like i said earlier it's highly recommended that you do some hand stitching to properly secure your design to the headband okay okay at this junction we're done with today's video i hope you enjoy it please give this video a thumbs up and share with others help this channel grow yes we want to eat 100k subscribers before the end of this year it's possible right and i know you can help me do this so i will just keep on embellishing as you can see it's just all about creativity you can always do whatever you want to make your homework look unique or beautiful Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you all in my next video. Until next time, please stay safe and bye for now. Yes, bye bye.